Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great, preparing really, really well. After time, speed, distance and time and work, it's time to revise another important aspect of arithmetic, which is mixtures and allegations. So three most important aspects of arithmetic, if I have to tell you time, speed, distance, time and work, mixtures, allegations. You have a few more like simple interest, compound interest, profit and loss. But if you compare, if you see the relative importance, these are the three key important aspects. So must revise all three. I am sure you've seen the other two. Let's have a look at mixtures allegations in this part. So first off, let's talk about weighted averages. You already know simple averages, right? Simple average is very simple. If you have, let's say two units, 10 and 12. So simple average will be 10 plus 12.2. You generally don't get questions on simple averages. So weighted averages, let's begin with. Average weight of 60 girls is 15 kg and average weight of 40 boys is 30 kg. Find the average weight of the group. Now the average of, of 60 girls is 15. Average of 40 boys is 30. Now see the number here is 60 and 40. The number in itself is not important. But the ratio is. So 60, 40, the ratio is 3 is to 2. Right? So these are also called the weights. And hence, when you take the average with these weights, it is called a weighted average. So how to do the weighted average? So 3 into 15, which is 45, 2 into 30, which is 60, divided by 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So this becomes 21. That is weighted average for you. If let's say both of them were equal, then it would be very, very simply simple average. So let's say there are number of boys and number of girls are equal, then the average will be 15 plus 30 by 2, 45 by 2, which is 22.5. That's point number one. I'm sure you all understand a little bit about allegations. Allegations is nothing but inverse of weighted average. Let us see how. Let's say the averages, the average of the girls is 15, average of the boys is 30 and final average is 21. Then how do you operate with allegation? Take a difference here. So if you take the difference along this line, so 21 and 15, the difference is 6. If you take a difference along this line, 30 and 21 is 9. Simplify this, the ratio is 3 is to 2, right? It's the same ratio that is here. So if you have the ratio and you have given averages, then you calculate the final average using weighted average method. And if you have the averages, the individual averages and the final average, then you can calculate the weights or the ratios by using allegations. I hope this is clear to you. Let us apply it once again. A shopkeeper mixes 30 kgs of sugar at 20 per kg and 45 kgs of sugar at 10 per kg. What is the average price of the mixture? So let us see. So this is 20 per kg and this is 10 per kg. And the weights are 30 and 45. The ratio is 2 is to 3. So 2 into 20 is 40. 3 into 10 is 30 divided by 2 plus 3 which is 5 so therefore the answer is 14. So the average price of the mixture is 14 rupees per kg. Now let us use allegations. So 20 and 10 I have final average as 14. So let's see what are the ratios or the weights. So if you take the difference along this line this is 6 difference along this line this is 4 always take the positive difference. So 2 is to 3. So the final ratio here, the final ratio here becomes 2 is to 3, which is same as this. I hope this is clear to you. So weighted average and allegations are effectively inverse applications of each other. Let's see one more example. Now a milkman has 30 liters of milk. He mixes 10 liters of water in that milk. Let us see what else. So what is his profit percentage when he sells at the cost price? Okay, assume water is free of cost, right? So you have 30 liters of milk here and 10 liters of water here, right? So 30 liters of milk and 10, let's say the, so many questions you can do using common sense also. You don't have to necessarily use weighted average or allegation because some questions are common sensical. Let's, let's see 30, 30 liters of milk here. Let's say the price of 30 liters is 300. So per liter, let's say the price is 10 rupees. Now you've added 10 liters of water. So now you have 40 liters and the price is 300 only because water is free. So per liter price now is seven and a half. And let's say that now he's selling at 10 rupees. So the profit is two and a half rupees. So two and a half on a base of seven and a half 
effectively means 1 by 3 or 33.33 percent of profit i hope this is clear to you let's move ahead and see a few more questions from allegations allegations obviously is very very important as part of mixtures allegations weighted average is is quite simple and hence you will see a, a few uh, questions very few questions but allegations you may see a few questions uh, all right so in what ratio should water be mixed with wine worth 60 per liter so that selling the mixture at 50 per liter the profit will be 25 percent okay so a good somras question here the profit is 25 percent selling at 50 so 50 upon 1.25 that's your cost price so this is 5 by 4 this is 10 so the cost price is 40 rupees now the wine is worth 60 rupees per liter mixing with water which is free assuming here and 40 is the final price so let's see what will be the ratio 60 minus 40 is 20 0 minus 40 or 40 minus 0 is 40 but the ratio here is 2 is to 1 the ratio here is 2 is to 1 right so we have to mix wine and water in the ratio of 2 is to 1 let's see the next question here Vessel A contains milk and water in the ratio 4 is to 5. B contains milk and water in the ratio 5 is to 1. In what proportion should be mixed so that milk and water finally are in 5 is to 4? Now you can solve this question taking milk or water. So let's take using milk. If you take solve using milk, what is the proportion of milk in the overall solution? 4 upon 9. What is the proportion of milk in this second solution? Overall, 5 upon 6 because 5 and 1 that's the total part and finally it is 5 is to 4 so 5 upon 9 so 9 and 6 you have let's multiply it by uh, re relevant numbers to make the denominator 18 so this becomes 8 upon 18 multiply this by 3 this becomes 15 upon 18 and multiply it with 2 becomes 10 upon 18 this will simplify things take the difference this becomes 2 upon 18 this becomes 3 upon 18 the ratio is 3 is to 2 so a and b have to be mixed in 3 is to 2 you must try it using water i have tried it using milk you can try it using water you can get the same answer you will definitely get the same answer let's move forward and see another intricate application product p is produced by mixing chemicals x and y in the ratio 5 is to 4 so p is obtained by mixing x and y in the ratio 5 is to 4 now x is prepared by mixing two raw materials a and b in the ratio of 1 is to 3 so a and b in the ratio of 1 is to 3 y is prepared by mixing b and c in the ratio of 2 is to 1 the final mixture is prepared by mixing 864 units of p with water so 864 units of p if you divide it between x and y so the ratio is 5 by 9 here and 4 by 9 here so if you do it 5 by 9, so 9 divide by 9, 9 times 81 and 6, so 5 into 96, so this becomes 480 units and this is 4 into 96, so 384 units. Now 480 has to be divided in A and B, so this becomes 1 fourth, so 120 units, 360 units. This is 2 third, 1 third, 1 third of 384 is 128, so 256 units here. Now it says that 864 units of P mixed with water. Raw material B in the final mixture is 50%. So if you see B here, add it up. So this becomes 6, 6 plus 5 is 1 and 6. So 6, 1, 6. That is 50% of the overall solution. So the overall must be 6, 1, 6 into 2. So this becomes 12, 32 units. Out of that, P was 864. So what is water? 12 minus 4 is 8. 12 minus 6 is 6. 11 minus 8 is 3. So 368 units of water was added to the product p i hope this is clear to you keep it as simple as possible and you may certainly expect questions like this let's move forward and see another very very important aspect which is replacement problems see replacement you can have two types of problems one is one time replacement which can be solved like allegation and i'll show you example also and and second is multiple replacement we will see this example also so let's see the first example which is one time replacement kind of a thing some part of sh sugar solution containing 40 percent sugar is replaced with another sugar solution which contains 19 percent sugar so 40 percent some part of 40 percent is remaining 
and some part of that has been mixed with 19% making final as 26% so if you take allegation here this becomes 7 and 14 so 1 is to 2 in the final solution you have one part of this 40% and two part of this 19% originally it was completely 40% now it is only one part and two part of something else has been added so therefore two third of this solution was replaced I hope this is clear to you very commonsensical and a beautiful problem let's see multiple replacement example which is the second case that we have discussed here a container has 50 liters of milk in it 5 liters of milk is taken out and is replaced by 5 liters of water this process is repeated 4 times what is the amount of milk in the container after final replacement so the way you can do go about it is final amount or percentage or concentration is equal to initial amount or concentration into 1 minus replaced amount by total amount let us understand this final amount we want to calculate we don't know in this case we know the initial amount was 50 1 minus how much was replaced 5 liters 5 upon total is what total will always remain 50 right you will remove 5 liters of milk add 5 liters of water so at all point in time the total will be 50 only so this becomes 1 by 10 raised to the power n which is number of times you are doing this this process is repeated four more times so the answer will be to the power 5 right so what's the answer in this case 50 into this is 0 0.9 raised to the power 5 how can we calculate this we want to calculate this becomes 0 0.9 into so you can make it like 0.9 square into 0.9 square into 0.9 so <coughs> after this it is all solutioning 0.9 you can make it 0 0.81 0 0.81 you can multiply this to get 6561 and then again multiply with 0.9 do the approximation and multiply with 50 I hope this is clear to you I hope the concepts are absolutely clear thank you so much for joining me here for a quick revision God bless you all and all the best for CAT